good morning god bless you guys happy thursday and welcome back to the channel welcome to the joy of homemaking i hope you guys are all having a blessed day in the lord so i'm gonna be jumping right into this video you guys but before i do that if you watch all the way to the end don't forget to subscribe like and share if you feel led to and thank you so much for the support and love on the channel and welcome to all new subscribers so i need to do some reorganization going on here you know every now and then we just have to like rearrange and do our inventory check expiration dates make sure everything's in order the way we like to do it especially us moms especially if you're a uh, cook and you're always cooking um as i do in our household we're always cooking meals i make some delicious um honey sesame chicken last night so today I want to make some orange chicken, y'all. So I might put that into a video. So stay on the lookout for that. But anywho, I love how this turned out. This is my cabinet where we keep mostly our cups, mugs, bowls, and plates. I just love the way this turned out, you guys. If you haven't seen that video, it's a really short video. So I urge you to check it out. And I bought those organizing um, shelf racks from TJ Maxx. A two pack for $9.99 so I'm slowly gonna be doing some reorganizing and grabbing some things um, probably from Amazon and different places getting some ideas I've been watching some other youtubers just getting some ideas um, and I'm just gonna be personalizing of course because everybody's kitchen is totally different right depending on your kitchen size and what works best for you so I do I do need to do a little cleaning here so that's why I'm mainly in this cabinet right now um, redoing some of my seasonings um i bought these nice glass um containers from ralph's market this was during the christmas season they were actually discounted at one point see it has like a snowflake lid i really like these i know it's like kind of off season um but i was like i really needed some glass containers and they seal so i decided to buy a bunch of those but anyway I really need to seal up some of these spices like this. This is not a good way to seal up your spice. This is oregano. I cook a lot with this. So what I'm going to be doing is adding it to these containers. Now, these containers are really affordable. If you're looking for something that's lightweight, super cheap, I ordered two four packs off of Amazon Fresh. These are by Ziploc. These are, these are called the Twist and Lock. There's uh, four medium round containers with lids, leak proof. And so I like here that you can actually, there's a spot to write the name. You can definitely put labels on here if you desire. But what I'm gonna do is take just some Sharpies and just um, write the names of whatever's in here. My husband does cooking quite often and our kids as well, they're learning. So just, it's always good to label everything so people don't get, get confused. Cause I got some cornstarch and some baking soda, baking powder, and those look all the same, right? So we wanna make sure everything's labeled. But anyway, I'm gonna just continue cleaning and I have some empty containers here. I'll be adding some more spices in here. I won't label, like for instance, this one, because it's so obvious. Uh, these are chili flakes, right? So it's so obvious. I'm not going to really label that, but I probably will. I don't know. But it's very obvious to me what that is. So, yeah. So if you're looking for an inexpensive way to organize your cabinets for spices or whatever, go with the Ziploc. They're really affordable, like I said. I believe this was less than $5. I got it on Amazon Fresh when I did a food order because through Amazon Fresh, you can order other goods as well besides groceries right and so and i just like the fact that they're so light you know very very light especially those who are dealing with like arthritis if you're a little bit older or just whatever you want to be more careful especially if you have younger kids i just can't get into like a lot of glass type of containers i just i'm afraid of something spilling or it's just be too heavy for me to lift that's why I go with these containers here I showed you guys before in previous videos because they're so light and they seal really good. You can put whatever you want in these containers. Check back in a second with you guys and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. And these baskets, I believe I got these at Walmart. I'm not, I don't remember if they're like a two pack or a four pack, but Walmart does have some cheap baskets like this for um, organization. 
I feel like I need to go there and do like a walkthrough to check out what they have. I never officially did a walkthrough like that just for myself to see what they have as far as organization bins. I have those bins here in my utensil drawer. See, I went ahead and put these here because at one time I was not using these. They were just like somewhere stored away. And I was like, wait a minute, I should be using these, right? And these can go pretty much anywhere, okay? So yeah, it's so important to be organized. It just makes everything run smoothly, especially if you have a full house like us. There's five of us. Everybody's always in the kitchen. Cooking is always being done. Somebody's always making something.